Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Capital Tarot. I am a psychic medium and prophetess. Um, I used to say oracle prophetess, but I'm just like, there's so many words and I'm so wordy and I'm like, I'm all these things, but you know, whatever. Labels aside, I'm a channeler, okay? So, um, <laughs> which I guess is another one, but anyways. So if you're new here, welcome in. Um, those of you guys returning back, uh, welcome back my soul fam and my new soul fam. Um, it's nice to meet you and um, yeah, and to um, be vibing together today. So you guys have seen the title, so you guys already know why you're here with the message. Um, if you are new here, I get a lot of, you know, just channeling, right? Like downloaded messages and prophetic visions and insights and all kinds of stuff, you know? Um, the download that I got actually while I was getting ready which is actually oftentimes when it happens, um, when I'm in the shower, when I'm getting ready. Um, and then of course, like when I'm outside connecting in nature, which is constantly, you know, one, 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 as I look up to, um, so there's new beginnings here for you. Okay. Um, the message that I received was, and I was assured, right? Of course, always, I know I trust, but it was like adamant the way that it came through from the divine, um about getting the message out because it's like you guys are on the brink of greatness you guys are on the brink of huge breakthroughs like like life-changing breakthroughs um and what came through was that so many of you in the collective myself included right we've been going through this like birthing like not birthing, like, like we're now at the rebirth, like going through the canal, you know, everything is here now. It's like the baby has arrived. That's, you know, and babies are symbolic of the new beginnings. Okay. Um, I know that I don't like, I know that I always like channel stuff like, but like, this is like an, a reading, you know, um, I'm going to be using the cards too, but this is me already channeling and sharing and reading. Okay. Um, so if it's resonating with you so far, of course, like the message, um, and do subscribe. We would love to have you here, of course, and, um, all the things. So anyways, uh, you're on the brink of greatness, but for so many in the collective, there has been this dark period, a shadow period where we had to really go within and we really had to face the inner demons, face the, the struggle, face the shadow moon card okay um it's all about the illusions or anything that needed to be shattered um as far as the smoky mirrors right shattering those mirrors um once and for all and really leveling up and with that comes great reward because not a lot of people were seeing it of course more and more with the collective awakening and ascension and everything that's happening right but what I'm getting is like, this has never been done before. Even thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands, I mean, going way back, right? To like Lemuria, the land of Mu, you know, Atlantis. And before that, <laughs> you know what I mean? What they're talking about is this has never been done before. This is such a pivotal time in history. Universal history. Like this is universal news is what I'm getting. Like, it's not just, you know, oh, we're, we're aware of what's taking place. And, you know, it's like the entire, like the, 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 the multiverses, the universes, like, uh, you know, this is something that is widespread. So it's like different star systems and different places and galaxies or whatever, right? They know that like earth is like going through this massive transformation. And a lot of, you know, our cosmic family, okay is assisting in that right so you're connecting in a big way you're being brought up in a big way but just like birth it's like how when you're growing when the baby grows right or when the seed is planted in the ground it's in the dark right the baby in the womb it's in the pitch black there's no light so when things might seem bleak or dark it's because the shadow needs attention the shadow needs healing the, the shadow needs love and recognition and that's what you guys have been doing now what i'm getting and what i got was that 
you know, this has been dragging out for months, you know, and everyone's going to be different. You know, we're all in different journeys and for different reasons and, you know, everything's going to be a little different, right? But for the most part, it's been like a, a drawn out, you know what I mean? And it's like, you're at this, you're at the, you know, have you ever seen the, it's like, I always use this analogy when I get these kinds of energies, but it's like that meme or like a picture of like a, you know, he's like a guy inside of like a, a, a cave, you know, and he's been hammering, you know, with his little pick, like a, you know, like whatever, going towards the diamonds. And you can see all the progress that he's done, chiseling, chiseling, hammering, you know, chiseling, chiseling with the pick and all that. And he's just about to freaking give up because he's gone so far and he's put so much work in. And he's in the cave. So it's symbolic of, you know, for me, like the bat energy, like that rebirth coming out of the shadow, out of the dark. The, the bats come out at night, right? So it's about coming out and like being present with the shadow, which is what you guys have been doing. And now you're being heavily rewarded. How's that? Huh? Okay. Um, what was I saying though before that about the, oh, about the mind guy, right? So, but in the, in the picture, you could see all the progress and then literally right on the other side when he's about to give up, it's like a whole, like, keep going, don't give up. Cause you never know, or, right? Like when everything's about to change. And all these diamonds, like piles and masses of like a whole tunnel full of diamonds was just like right here. You know what I mean? So he was like, he was there. You made it, you know? Um, and it, it was going to pay off. If he keeps going, it was going to, you know, pay off. Which the whole set of sentiment about it is that. Keep going. So he keeps going and he, 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 he wins the victory, the jackpot, the diamonds, you know? Sets you up for life. That's what I'm getting to. Sets you up for life. These are opportunities that, you know, you never in your wildest dreams could even think about, but you know that the universe is very intricate. Two of Cups, Two of Cups. It's about you coming into partnerships and collaborations and unions with true counterparts, true soulmates, meaning romantically, yeah, for sure, but also platonically. I'm getting business strategies. So whatever you guys have been like thinking about or strategizing or doing or just like where you've been putting your energy, right? Because wherever your focus goes, that's where the energy flows, right? So, okay, another message is about like going back to the like feeling like, you know, maybe like the, the more like the shadowy parts, you know? And that could make, maybe make you feel maybe down, you know, or, or, you know, just sad and, you know, like a little depressed. I'm not saying that you are, um, depressed. Wow. That's funny. I need to plug my phone in real quick, but the, the thing went off saying that my phone was at 20% and right when it did that and I cleared the little notification, the timestamp was exactly eight, 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 oh eight. Okay. So that's going to be a number sync for you guys, but the eights are like, first of all, it's the infinity sign. So what the message is with that, what I'm receiving is that that was symbolic confirmation, okay, of um, the, the universe is mirroring back to you, your infinite abundance, meaning it's, it's coming, it's, it's here. All your hard work is, it, it's here. You're, the diamonds are here. Huge breakthroughs, you guys. Huge breakthroughs. So let's go ahead and get into some... Oh, wait. Let me get my charger real fast. <laughs> if you are new here, you guys, you know, I'm I'm a very... You know, I, I really get into my, my messages and my channelings and I'm very detailed. And, you know, I don't just like, you know, half-ass and fly through and like, you know, just try to like get views or whatever. Like, I like really like I put a lot in. So anyways, so I'll keep going and channeling and then I'll forget to plug my phone in and then my phone will die. You guys, it is 90 degrees here today. It is like summer just came in. Um, I knew that it was like faking us out like a couple weeks ago. It like warmed up for like four or five days. It got like really warm, hot, like 90s, like high 80s, 90s. And then it like went away and then the rain came in and it got cold again and windy and 
but I knew that was, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I haven't, I've, I have like, like plants started for my garden and like seedlings and all that, like their starts, you know, they're all like ready to be like transplanted and like into their bigger pots to like take off, you know, but I haven't done that because, um, cause the weather, I was waiting for the final, 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 <laughs> like summer or, you know, weather to arrive. So see, I just got totally sidetracked. Squirrel brain, squirrel. Um, all right, so, all right, so let's go ahead, one, four, three, one, four, four, see, hello, my chosen ones, hello, my, my earth angels, my light workers and star seeds, this is a message for you, you guys, like, this YouTube channel and, like, what I do for a career and, like, everything, like, that was not something that was on my radar. Like never once in my life, like I always like was very, I was very connected um, to the esoteric world and you know, magic and tarot and tea leaves. And like, you know, I always thought that stuff was just, I was intrigued by it. Very, it felt resonant, super resonant to me always, ever since, you know, as a child. But this was not on my radar. My point is, with me saying that like there's things that are going to start taking off and like you're going to be your sacral energy is like off the charts right i even have like i felt so called today to first of all wear like fun colors and like lighten up and let my um my inner child just kind of you know have fun pink nails bright green dress um it's actually a skirt you guys this is actually a skirt like a longer cute ruffly green skirt and it was my grandmother's um who is one of my guides um she's actually on my altar and yeah anyways she's you know my 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 grandmother's my lineage you know the matriarchal side anyways um today when I was putting you know I I was like I was gonna wear it as a skirt and just wear the cute like little tank top or something or whatever and my inner child said no Remember when we were young and like I would play with my grandma's dresses and her skirts and because I was little and she was tall, she was a ballerina, like she was, I think she was 5'7", or yeah, she was 5'7", um, but still very tall, slender, beautiful, you know, um, I'm 5'2", so just to give you my idea, I'm short, <laughs> but when I was little, right, and lots of you guys, little girls, you know, probably did this too, like where you, you would play dress up, but the skirts, the long skirts, you would just pull them all the way up and wear them as a dress. And that's what I'm doing today. My inner child was like, you go girl. We are so happy with, with this. So could be a message for you guys because everything I say when I'm reading and channeling, it's for a very big reason, right? So lightening up the load energetically and quite literally too, right? Like just having fun, you know, my girlfriend, um, you know, we were like messaging back and forth earlier, just talking or whatever. And <laughs> I said something about like, I want to like go swimming or like, da, 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 da. like, anyways. And then she sends me a picture. She's in her backyard, like chilling because it's nice out and everyone's excited. Finally, it's warm, like real, for real, for real. And she went and bought herself like a, like a, like an Intex, you know, like blow up pool or whatever. And that's exactly like what I want to get to it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous right now. Just something big enough. I mean, eventually, yeah, like the bigger pools and all that. But like for, for me, for, you know, just this, you know, I, I just need a blow up, something I could float in, put a raft in, do a little swim swim if I want to, you know, because I am a total fish. Like I am a total mermaid. I love being in the water. I can't like lay out in the sun either unless I'm like laying on a raft or like wet or like in water. You know what I mean? What was I just doing, you guys? Mm -mm 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 -mm. It'll come back to me. I wa I got up and walked over to my altar because I felt like I was supposed to go grab something, but I don't know. See, this is, it, it might be, it, I probably do need to go grab something. And if I didn't already talk about it, then it's probably going to come through in a few minutes and I'm going to go, oh, okay. That's what they wanted me to grab. I don't know. I did find my lip gloss though. <laughs> so, Okay. Here we go. All right, so 
this was actually, it's funny that I'm using this deck. Purple and gold could be very resonant to you. Um, but it's funny that I'm using this deck because this was gifted to me from my mom. And then her mom is the one who I'm speaking of. My, my, my Gigi. My Gigi ma. So... I actually have quite a bit of her clothing and so does my mom um, but you know my grandma was built like me you know and so a lot of it is just like you know just very really tiny and small you know as my mom's like here you know like that but um but yeah my grandma had awesome style and taste she was very you know elegant is the word you know always well presented and really you know took pride in that you know and it wasn't for anyone else only for herself she did it for herself right that's that's why she did it she never remarried she never felt that you know a man could you know fulfill and she was just in her ways you know very strong very strong uh woman and feminine energy i come from very strong women so I'm myself into a stroke. So reason why I'm sharing all this is because a lot of you guys are going to resonate with this. Okay. You will. Because you guys come from powerful lineages too. A lot of you. And you know, for, for most of you guys watching this, I'm not telling you something you don't already know or intuitively know. First card here is Sekhmet. Are you kidding me? Thank you Sekhmet for coming through. Oh my gosh. My heart is just like, because you guys, it says wounded healer, the wounded healer, meaning we, we've been the wounded healers. We are the wounded healers, you know, through our own wounding and through our own hardships is how we have risen up and how we are going to provide our wisdoms of healing and, and, and things to other people. You see the ripple effect in the water, just Boop, and then it just keeps going, right? Okay, so this is beautiful confirmation of the download I received. Um, it's just like my guides and stuff, but clearly, you know, what's funny about this is coming through though, I swear to you, you guys, this is crazy now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so like all day today, I've been getting very heavy Egyptian energy, Egyptian vibes, ancient Egypt, ancient Egypt, but a girl, like a friend of mine, like someone that I know, um, who's more like an acquaintance, you know? Um, but like, anyways, we're, we're friends like on social media and she just, and she, it's so random because I would never think that she would be someone that would want to go to Egypt, but she's in Egypt right now, like as we speak. And I took a screenshot of this beautiful papyrus, like, like painting, whatever thing, but it's like on Egyptian paper. And she like took a video and she's like, yeah, they like, you know, tell you the whole history of how like the paper was created through, you know, the papyrus, blah, 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 right? But the, the, the artwork on there was, I mean, it was absolutely incredible, but there was a masculine, okay, um, ancient Egyptian on it and a feminine facing each other. And immediately I was like Isis and Osiris, right? Like that's, that's, you know, it's not, it wasn't supposed to be them, I don't think, okay? It's just immediately what I received off of it. So a lot of your ancient ancestry and your ancestors and for a lot of you guys, your, your, your past lives in Egypt and stuff, that's what you guys, for a lot of you, you're going to start remembering or connecting to. Um, but it's just the, the Egypt references, um, the other, like the day before yesterday, it might've been yesterday. I don't know. I saw another thing and this is a message that my guides have been telling me for months and months and months and I just haven't done it. And I know as soon as I do, that's when all the doors are going to start flying open, you know, um, but it's about international travel and going and doing, you know, international work, quantum healing work, um, and, uh, this, you know, like traveling tarot, going around, doing readings for people, um, you know, working with international, you know, clients, you know, people like, it's just going to go up, 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 you know, and I've already been connected to several very high vibrational light workers who are very, you know, 
powerful in what it is that they're tapping into and what they do. Um, and they're, you know, they're, they're all, in, they're in the UK, you know? So anyways, but I saw the other day, go get your passport. <laughs> Literally like on a thing, like on Instagram or something. It said like, go get your passport or something like that. So anyways, Pay very close attention to everything that you guys are receiving and seeing and what's literally being placed right in front of you, you guys. Everything is a simulation from the universe for you, okay? So it, it could be anything. Like, I, you guys, I pay attention to everything, everything. My mom said to me one time, this was, you know, a while ago when she was not as awoken as she is, you know, now. She's, you know, been going through her awakening too, but... She said to me one time, um, you know, Erica, not everything is connected or a sign or, you know, the universe. And I'm like, yeah, it is actually. Now she gets it. Now, you know, if I brought that up to her now, you know, which I would never, but she would probably be like, oh my God, I'm like, <laughs> you know, um, cause it is cars that drive in front of your house, license plate numbers, music playing, um, the way the birds are acting, you know, you go into the store, the people that walk by you, the stuff on their shirt, you know, like if someone walks by you and they have a logo or a saying or a, a football team or everything is something, it's all connected. You know what I mean? So anyways, she's number uh, 15, card number 15. So Sekhmet, the wounded healer. So going back to that, we are the wounded healers. That's how we know how to do what we do, <laughs> right? It's also about what I was channeling before. And this is, like I said, the confirmation. So again, thank you, Sekhmet. Thank you, my Egyptian ancestors. And didn't I say earlier to you guys, Did I don't know if I finished saying that or if I was just, anyways, when I was talking about my altar with my grandmother and stuff, today, today, I bought new candles. I bought a, a tall white um, Jesus candle, a tall uh, pink uh, Virgin de Guadalupe, okay? And, um, and then a couple other, and then I even, oh my God, that was the other Egyptian thing too. Okay. Is they had a scent at the, st at the store for soy candles of, um, Egyptian amber. I swear. But this is what I mean. You so, so it's like beautiful and magical and cool and confirming, you know, and it happens constant, 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 all day, every day, all day, every day. Right. So pay close attention, my loves. So some of you guys might be being called to Egypt, but you're very connected to Egypt. A lot of you guys here, okay? We we probably knew each other back in the day in one of our past lives in Egypt or multiple past lives, you know? Some of us, right? So it's really cool. So Sekhmet is with you. And, and what the energy and the message here is, is that through your shadow period and through your darkness, you have been birthing so much creation. So much and yeah, maybe you got caught in the ebbs and flows of, of, of everything, right? But for the most part, you, you stayed in alignment. You know, you, you stayed focused on what it is that you know to be true in, in, in the deepest parts of your soul. And now you're right. It's, it's like now the universe and all the guides and ancestors, right? They're showing up and they're going, yeah, here you go. It was worth it going through the tunnel and all the mining and all the hard work and the blood, sweat, and tears. Now you're at the diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Are you kidding me? You guys. I mean, if you're new here, this is like, oh, but it never gets old, right? As I channeled, it's like shine the diamonds shine bright like a diamond. I pick up the deck. I look down and the first thing I see is shine. Shine bright like a diamond, as I was literally like singing it. You know, my gifts personally are getting, they're so, I'm so freaking tapped in, it's insane. I can't even believe like the stuff that I'm receiving and everything that I'm, it's like a, mo like a movie film, like, you know, like a, you know, just playing and I can see all the pictures and everything playing out before it happens and then it happens. And it's like everything, you guys. It's crazy. It's crazy. Clear example. And if you've been tuning in, especially over the last few weeks, you know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but 
like I've had some comments where people are like, wow, like you, you had some type of like level up or like big, like ascension or glow up or something. But what they mean is like, it's my gifts and the way my channeling is like shifting and, you know, rising and stuff. Um, but you guys are going through the same thing is my point. So, you know, it might be in, in a different, you know, in a different way, um, or a different kind of spiritual gift or, you know what I mean? Um, or maybe it is, maybe you are very psychic and prophetic and you know, you, you, you're super tuned in like that, right? It's time to shine it though. It's time to utilize, time to share. You don't have to do it for a living. For some of you guys, you will, you're going to really, you guys came here to be the healers in that regard. But just being you and doing your healing work, okay, and 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 being that mirror to everybody that you encounter and see, whether it's in person or online, you're, that's that's a part of your big work. That's huge. That's so impactful. Okay. Again, what you put out, you get back. So if you guys have been putting all that kind of stuff out there, even posting a, a meme, you know. Like, like a Dolores Cannon meme or something that says like a positive, like, you know, saying or affirmation or something, right? You post that and I'll say 10 people see it, okay? Right? But those, you know, but eight out of those 10 people were really, were really like, wow, huh? Wow. It got them, you know, it got the wheels spinning. Something about that connected with their soul, right? That will come back to you. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's everything, you guys. It's everything. Yeah, it's the alchemy. This is Nefertiti, Queen Nefertiti. Okay, your 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 royalty is starting to shine through in a big way. Okay, you guys. So many of you guys. You guys are are are, are royalty in the spiritual realm, and quite literally, for for many of us, right? We've been royalty in past lives. You know what I mean? And it carries through in this lifetime. And, you know, there might be specific traits about your personality or the things that you like, or maybe you are just someone who really holds yourself in a high regard and people have taken it as arrogant or, you know, things like that, right? It's like, no, I just, I know what I'm capable of and I know who I am, you know, because of who you've been. So this whole download and message was all about alchemy it was because it was about literally what is the birth it's alchemy it's divine alchemy a baby growing a seed transforming from one thing to another that is alchemy so you have gone from one thing to another but it's like one thing to another and now you're at the top, honeys. Like, this is the climactic point. This is where everything just goes crazy. <coughs> Etheric chords. Okay, so for some of you guys, you have to cut some chords or... Tap in, tap into to your higher self, okay? For some of you guys, it could be like, um, you know, like attachments to maybe like if you, it feels past life. So if you've lost a child um, or have had miscarriages or things of that nature, that could be in this lifetime for sure, but also past lives. Okay, so that's gonna be obviously for the women out there. Um, there's something about just clearing the energy and, you know, um, you're not clear, you know, you'll always be connected, right. To, to your child or to, right. But there's something about that. Okay. And everything that I receive is always for, for a reason. Okay. And there's also right. The children, she's clearly like a motherly energy here and she's got the machete and she's not messing around. Okay. Yeah, I would just call in, like maybe do some clearing or listen to some like clearing frequencies, do some smudging um, and just set the intention of like protection and sending out light. Well, that's what I was saying about my candles. 
And that's why I was tripping out on like this whole, like the ancestors and the Egyptian stuff and all that, because I lit candles today for the ancestors and for other things, but for the ancestors specifically, like, you know, and, and the angels and, um, but I specifically was calling forth like my ancestry. So I was, you know, talking to like ancient Egypt and, you know, like Atlantis energy and like, you know, things of that nature. So, okay. So anyway, so you're cutting cords, but also this is just about the cords that you have cut. For some, there's like a few more little attachments or cords, just things that might be weighing on you or aren't meant to go with you to this next phase of your life. Okay. And once you do that, once you do that, okay then giving and receiving. Then it's like you're receiving, but you already are receiving. If anything, it'll just slow it down a bit, okay? But this is for your benefit. And it also, it'll help you feel so much better and lighter and happier, okay? All right, okay. Look at, look at the birth. Look at that awakening. You guys, you're getting so tapped in. So tapped in, be in the flow be in the flow. There's also something about water, right? And this has been coming through for me a lot. And I even said earlier, I was talking about swimming. And then I was talking about how I'm a fish. I'm a, I'm a mermaid, right? You guys too, for many of you guys, not for everybody, but you know, she's so happy. She's so connected. She's so in tune. She's so protected. She's so full of creation and ideas and this could be literal pregnancy too. For some, fertility, new beginnings. This is everything that I said in my channeled message that I received. You're on the brink of this. Everything that's been growing, like I said, like a baby in the belly or a seed in the ground is now being alchemized into 3D reality manifestation. And it's big. That is, that is a full belly. Beautiful card. And then you have the dolphins, right? Soulmate energy. Also Atlantis and Lomeria. I, I mean, I just got done talking about that. Okay. All right. So let's get some tarot. Let's get some tarot. Okay. So thank you, my loves, for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing some, a couple bonus, like a few, few bonus Zodiac readings, love, like special, like bonus love messages for, um, for Libra, Aries, Capricorn, and who was the other one? Anyways, for like so far for the May, um, Zodiac messages, they got the most views and like the most likes and interaction and stuff. So just to say thank you and appreciation, you know, I'm going to do those. So, all right. Oh, something just flipped over. And my loves, if this is your message, be sure to claim it as yours, right? Like I affirm all of this. This is, this is my message. This is for me. I affirm this, you know, all the things, right? Okay. King of fire. Yeah. It's time for you to, you know, take control, take the lead. No, you guys have been doing that. You guys have been doing that. I feel like this is also a king of fire watching you. Like this is someone who is, um, you know, maybe connecting, you're connecting within the 5D and the ethers. Um, they're, they're watching or, or they come to you in the astral and they're maybe for some watching you in the physical, like online or at work or somewhere. I don't know. Okay. I mean, they live on the same street as you and you go running and they just see you, you know, that could be that too, right? But they're watching you and they're digging it, man. They're digging it. They are hot for you, okay? There's there's a hot love coming in. That's a part of your rewards. That's a part of the breakthrough energy. I'm telling you, the energy is huge. This isn't like, oh yeah, you're gonna have a break. No, this is, you've gone through the, like for, for, for many of you guys, you've recently gone through the biggest like dark night of the soul that you've gone through yet, okay? But it could be different, right? So let's say you went through one when you ended a karmic connection that was toxic and chaotic and crazy. And then you you started your awakening and, you know, then you went through like this period, right? No, I mean, like, since you started your awakening, okay, this is like another big one that you guys have been in. And it feels like you guys have been trying to climb your way out, right? But like, then you finally went, forget it, surrender, universe, right? Okay, and, and, and the moment you did that, 
things started shifting. But anyways, inspirational, charismatic, and innovative. So again, you guys, king of wands, man or woman, it doesn't matter. You guys are like being called to take, take action and put energy into the things that, um, that, that give you passion in life. Okay. What, what's, what, what fuels you, you know, do you, do you want to work with animals? Do you love children? Like where you want to help children or, you know, I'm getting like speech pathologist or all of that is forms of light work. You know what I mean? But it's time for you to take action on your creative ideas, your creative endeavors, your projects, you know, all of that. Okay. Um, and for the things that you have been manifesting and growing now, you're also receiving that too, but it's time again, this is you going through the biggest level up that you've yet to even like witness in yourself. Okay. Your life is changing. Everything is shifting. Yeah, it's big. It's big. It's big. Don't be scared. This is exactly what you guys wanted. It's exactly what you guys have been wanting. And the reason why I say don't be scared is because I, I, I can feel it, first of all. for As I'm saying that, a lot of you guys are like, oh shit, like everything's shifting. Like, you know, am I ready for all this? Like, you know, it kind of gives that energy of fear. And I felt it and, and I and I actually heard like someone say something so, you know, or think it. This is someone coming in that's like, you know, they're, they're charismatic, they wanna have fun. It's a very like, you know, the word I'm getting is active. It's a very active connection that you guys share. Like, not just meaning like <laughs> physically, but like active, like you guys bounce off each other. You guys really like, you know, vibe with each other and there's not like dull moments, you know, and where they're like, you guys don't have anything to say to each other. You guys always have stuff to say to each other. You guys, oh, you know, it's like that. Can't keep your hands off each other. Five of water. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay. So just once again, like the divine like spirits coming through and it, the message is <laughs> don't worry about a thing because every little thing it's gonna be all right. There it is, 10 of earth, prosperity, security, tradition. And then look at that, renewal. It's like judgment. This is, look at the word on here, rebirth. Rebirth, my loves. You can't make it up. I told you, you guys, that was... It was a very powerful message, okay? So that means that this is about to take place for you. Like literally, like I said, it's here. Diamonds are here. Reflection. You've been in a time of reflection. You've been in a time of self-evaluation. You listen to the call of, of the divine, of your higher self, of your soul, your guides, your angels. And now the rebirth is here. And you guys, you can't make it up. Look at this. Ace of fire after that, honey. Look at that. Inner child. Happy. Like this is, this is what it's all about, guys. But it's also representative of the fresh energy, new beginnings. The baby, the birth, the small child. It's new, new, new. And the angels, it's just like you're so heavily like like guided right now and like they're just around you you know but if you want them to intervene and you want their help you got to ask you know because you know free will they won't interrupt free will opportunity i told you this is the biggest level up of your life you guys might already be doing fantastic in life right like where you're like i don't know how trust me <laughs> trust me Opportunity, creativity, and action. And if that wasn't enough confirmation here, look at all the fiery energy too. Sacral. Solar plexus energy here too, but we also have a lot of red, which is the root. Okay. Let's talk about the ten of fire, the ace of fire, and then look at that. The six of fire was after the ace of fire. So you have renewal, judgment, and then the Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands, and then the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is always, always, always a yes. I mean, that just looks like a, like a yes. 
You know, like she's like, yes, okay. She's, this is a vic victory. It's, it's a victorious win and it's also recognition and reward. Okay, let's see what this says. Success, recognition, self-esteem. Okay, you, you, you brought yourself back up. You brought yourself back to life. Resuscitated your soul and your heart. And now, my beautiful wounded healers, now you are receiving 10 of earth, victory, reward. Situations too that really boost your self-esteem. It's not like you need that, like outside situations to do that. What I'm saying is the things that are coming in for you, they just do because they're so high vibrational and they're so aligned. And it's like confirmation, like I just knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew I was right. I knew that I could do this, you know, all of it. Yep. This right here, that is, didn't I say something earlier about like sets you up for life in the beginning? There it is, 10 of earth. There's passionate new beginnings here for you. Again, with the ace, right? And, the, and it's all fresh, new. And yeah, a big fat yes. So this, again, I, I just, it sets you up, it sets you up, it sets you up, okay? So I, I have no idea. But like I said earlier, the tarot was never on my radar. Like I had, you know, if you had told me, <clears throat> you know, five, six years ago, like, you know, oh, you're gonna have a, you know, successful YouTube channel and it, it's gonna be all about, you know, tarot and you're gonna be doing psychic readings and that's gonna be your business. I would have been like, well, what mental hospital did you escape from, buddy? You know? Cause what? Okay, but I'm telling you, you guys, you're either doing it already or you're about, the, the seed is about to burst and then boom, you take that action, you plant all these seeds. This is also the seeds that are coming towards you that you have planted already. But like I said, this is the biggest, biggest level up of your life. Biggest level up of your life, okay? And I'm not saying it's like the last one, okay? Look at that, the emperor and then the dreamer, the fool showing up together and then release. Look at the phoenix rising from the ashes, see? Another card of transformation and rebirth, alchemy, endings, transformation, freedom. I mean, it just gets better and better. There's divine masculine energy, leaps of faith. There's the fresh start, fresh, 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 new, new, new. Blind leaps of faith, okay, that pay off. And the blind leaps of faith that you've already taken in life and on yourself, are paying off okay so this is what I have for you my loves um I wasn't expecting it to be this long but again like I said I'm long-winded and I channel until the message is done you know what I mean um so anyways um but I am gonna try to start doing some shorter readings like so they're not all like you know long you know because then I could do more you know I could do I could do more of them um but again I I do them when I feel called and you know or when I receive a download or a message you know whether it be about the twin flames or like something like this or a Zodiac message, you know. Okay, so let's just get a couple cards as we go for the collective, please. Um, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can find the information down below. Just send me an email and we'll get you set up. Um, and uh, yeah, and I offer general readings and then I also offer past life Akashic readings. Whoa, hello. The element of fire. The element of fire. Your, your, your life is heating up, my loves. This is, look at this. Expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. It's, it, you don't expect this. You, you can't, you know, for, you can imagine things but this is like beyond you know your imagination like the things that the universe has been lining up or that you've been calling in you know but with fire this is about enthusiastic creative again with the sacral energy all this fire oh i just got chills on my right leg too which is the masculine side which is the side the side of planning strategizing doing okay it's almost like the message, yeah, okay. So it's like the message here is um, right now with the eclipse season and just the momentum and the energy right now, it is a really powerful time to start even thinking and putting things into motion. But if you can actually start things, okay, 
and 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 go with this flow of energy that we're in right now it's gonna be like ooh, again ten of pentacles but like on fleek you know what i mean be spontaneous there's about a lot of passion a lot of sexiness okay inspiration you're feeling very inspired follow what inspires you okay um but expect the unexpected so all right so anyways oh bottom of the deck okay bottom of the deck is the tree yeah look at this it's about your past lives it says past lives personal growth connection to source i said you guys are very connected more chills more chills right side right side your lineage i spoke all about my grandma i spoke about lineage we had segment come out i spoke about ancient egypt our lineages right like everything this is confirmation. You guys are laying down some really beautiful roots and it's going to really ground your life and set you up and you're not moving. This tree's not going anywhere. It's like that. You know what I mean? Where there could be storms and there could be things that happen, but it's not going to uproot the tree. It's not going to uproot you ever again. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's what I have for you, my love. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you soon. Mwah.